Hi, my name is Renee Brune, and I'm a street photographer here in Dublin. For me, my camera is like a time machine. Every single photograph I take is in the past. One second after I've taken it, it's in the past. I love to capture images. It could be just plain images of the street or like this girl here with no shoes on her feet. It could be a local scene, something new for local history and prosperity. Also, there's amazing street art around Dublin City on the walls. Sometimes you won't notice it, you just think it's graffiti. Other times you walk past and you think it's amazing, like this one in Belfast. You'll see a lot of colour and a lot of the times most of my street photography shots will be in black and white unless it is a street style, you know, colour graffiti. It needs to have that strength in it, you know, have that colour be bold and just bright and amazing. Sometimes I take a picture in mind because I have an idea, something I want to do, something to incorporate. For example, at a time when people deal with mental health issues, I see this person standing there with the umbrella and I thought to myself, you know what, the amount of times I've personally and seen other people walking around with a cloud over their head, they're feeling down, they have different issues going on and I just kind of wanted to emphasize that so I added the cloud myself. I think it gives a very good perspective in the image. I think people know straight away, doesn't matter if it's rain or shine, you know the person's walking around with a cloud over their head. These two next images um, I really like, you know, they remind me of me and my friends. Uh, for example, there's a couple of old guys here resting up against, I assume it's a telephone junction box, just having a catch up, you know, a few friends. And I noticed as I was going around to the side, one of them sitting there eating the old 99 cone, enjoying himself. It was a hot sunny day. And, you know, it's good times. It's nice when you get to talk to people you haven't seen for a while and you know just enjoying life so I thought it was very good. I think street photography doesn't always have to be about the characters you see in the street though as well it's about the environment around you like take this picture for an example I'm walking past this hotel and I see this lovely I think it's a French bulldog it looks a bit different to a pug I'm pretty sure it's a French bulldog sitting inside the hotel up by the window on obviously a nice high seat with a little towel around them now I don't know many hotels don't allow people to do that with their dogs but I just thought it was kind of classy so I had to take a picture. Sometimes you just want to capture the movement of busy streets and busy people just passing going through the area or a couple of lads in the city centre having a bit of a laugh as you can see this is St. Patrick's Day or maybe it's you know a stag party but you know that's life capture it enjoy it. Dublin is a great place for street photography you'll always find some characters be it in the pub, as I call them, uh, pub traits. You take a photograph of someone with a bit of character, or on the street sometimes, like I stopped this guy with the beard, I said he had this amazing beard, he had this cool look, I took his picture. You'll also find a lot of great musicians in Dublin, street artists like this girl here, Tara Jameson. Um, she's actually from Canada, if I remember correctly, and she's brilliant busking on Grafton Street. Now this next photo, I'm glad I went out of my way to get this picture about a year or two ago. The Rolling Donut on O'Connell Street. It's been a favourite place of Dubliners for as long as I can remember. In fairness, it's been there as long as I've been alive. People would always go up and get their five donuts for a pound, and then when the euro came in, I think it's like, you know, four for a euro or something like that. I always had the best donuts. No other type of donut than just fresh, plain donuts covered with the sugar. I think when you're doing street photography, you should always have your camera at the ready when you're walking around the city centre or your location that you choose to photograph in. This next picture, for example, is an evening shot. I was walking down near Wicklow Street. I heard a trumpet playing. I thought, excellent, I get a nice picture of a trumpet player, you know, busking. And, of course, I come across he's finished busking and he's begging off the girls for a donation outside this cafe. Now, as you see, he has his hat out, you know, the girls are standing there looking, they're all happy, I took the picture. I didn't realise till about a good year or two later that the girl on the very left-hand side of the image actually spotted me taking the picture. Now, I thought I was oblivious, and, you know, or I should say, I thought the people there were oblivious to me actually being around there taking the picture, no one's looking at me, and I thought, great, that's a moment captured, no one's seen it. But it just goes to show, 
when you're looking at everyone else there's always someone looking at you I'll finish this section with two more pictures this is one of my favorites um, for a good while for for the main reason the comedic sense in this image um, I had a few libations as they'd say um, aka a few points of Guinness this evening when I took this picture I was trying to focus in and take pictures of people in the restaurant having a nice meal camera slightly out of focus I knew I wasn't going to get it right so I put it on auto focus and took the picture thought nothing else of it it's only when I looked at it much later I seen the guy in the image on the left hand side with his wife sitting there and the guy had obviously seen me taking the picture of my camera out and just turned around with a big happy face on him and his hands up big thumbs up and enjoying himself and I thought that was so funny when I first seen it I just I cracked up I thought it was hilarious this last one I leave you with now is basically one of my favorite street photography pictures I've done in about three years I think there's a lot going on here this gentleman I had met in a pub earlier during the day with five or six of his best men um, it was about 10 minutes before the wedding they decided all to sneak across the road and have a few points of Guinness and some whiskeys to celebrate and I just happened to be walking up Grafton Street later on and I seen him walking up the street with his new wife and I stopped to take a picture and I thought it was a lovely picture I overheard him saying to his wife oh that's the guy I was telling you about because I'd taken a nice black and white shot of him and all his friends there in the pub you know his best men even though he had professional photographers there who were getting paid to do the job and um, he thought that the black and white shot I had taken of him and his friends was uh, a really beautiful picture so I was very happy to send it on to him free of charge and I just like the image I think there's a lot going on you know there's the nice happy couple it's got the the hustle and bustle of Grafton Street and of course I'd love to know what the kid is pointing at he's got a big smile on his face and I think there's something there that I I think there's a bit of intrigue and mystery there I'd love to know what he saw but I just think it's it's a really nice street picture I think this is the type of shot I kind of want to get all the time you don't always get that you don't always have the good story with it but yeah I think this is a lovely shot Hi, I'm uh, Serge. Uh, my name is Serge Falasiev and I'm doing street photography for the last three years in Dublin. I started abroad. Uh, the first country I went especially to do street photography was uh, Hong Kong. So it's kind of paradise for street photographers. And it's where uh, 
I learned uh, a lot about the streets, the people in the streets, the trying to capture the light, the, the ambience. Um, because um, in fact what happened is uh, I was living in the Middle East and uh, you can't do pictures, taking pictures of people in the street. So every time I was traveling abroad, and I was traveling quite a lot abroad, I was uh, practicing my street uh, photography. Yeah, I, I tried to, to do high contrast photography, the shadows, the light, uh, feeling the atmosphere, the ambiance. Um, yeah, it will be most of the time when I, it's not every day possible, of course, but when there is a nice light, uh, you try to capture the, to capture the light and the, the shadows. Yeah. I'm using uh, Fuji X-T2. Uh, before I was using uh, Fuji X-T20. And uh, now for the last three months, I have a Ricoh GR3, GR3 which is very good as well. Uh, the big thing I find with the GR3 is uh, even living on uh, automatic ISO, it's performing very well. I, I, I would say that uh, y you need to have a good lens, it's the main thing. And because I'm, I'm shooting all the time, I'm kind of automatically, I'm shooting at three, four pictures in one sec. So you need to have your camera who is able to sustain the, the buffer. Um, so um, the good uh, lens, a good lens, and it's not a, uh, yeah, it's about buying a decent camera, but you can find second hands, even a camera on Amazon, who are, who are re very good, who will do. The, the light in Dublin is quite impressive in the morning or at 5 p.m. when the s s it can be the very cloudy at some times, some points, and the light is changing very quickly. Uh, so it's trying to capture to capture the light. Uh, the main thing uh, that I like in photography. Oh, but uh, b basically, I think that the, uh, those cameras today have reached a very good level. So I just shoot, uh, I just do JPEG. And uh, I don't work a lot of my pictures because I post a picture every day, basically. So I don't have the, the time to work on them. I just use Snapseed on, uh, Snapseed on my phone and that's it. Uh, doing the choice between color and uh, black and white, it depends of my mood more or less. Uh, in summer I like to shoot um, black and white b because it's adding with the contrast, the light. Well, uh, well sometimes uh, one day I was caught in the Luas and trying to take pictures. It was quite a game of musical chairs. So there were three, four people sitting in front of me and uh, every time there was people, one of them were going away. So a new people was going taking the seat and I was taking, I was quite of happy because it was, and somebody told me, uh, someone told me not to do it, not to take pictures of people. Uh, so it was uh, an embarrassing moment, but, but other, other than that, uh, uh, yeah, I, I was, it was too, I was just in front of them basically.
Govern. Uh, I like to do film photography, analog photography with older cameras. I develop my own film, scan my own film. At the time, the digital, everyone wants to get better equipment and better lenses and I thought, well, that's not really going to make you a better photographer. And I saw a film camera in Berlin and thought, you know what, one lens, one camera and a roll of film, that sounds more like my cup of tea rather than, you know, I see people with digital cameras and four lenses and, you know, six filters and two tripods and the photographs weren't particularly any good, you know. So it was actually a Canon film camera and then pretty soon after I got an Olympus rangefinder and that made it even simpler again with no meter, just shutter, aperture and focus, that's it. I have quite a few, but I do like the medium format TLRs. Uh, very simple, only take 12 shots. Um, again, no electronics, so you do all the thinking yourself. Um, I do have an Olympus rangefinder that I have a long time. That's probably my favorite. It's very small, Olympus uh, 35 RC. And those, those two, this and the Olympus, would be my perfect companions. I think everyone starts off with a bit of street photography, but I, sometimes I could go a year or two without shooting people at all. I just could shoot buildings and trees and, you know, streets, empty streets. I do a bit of everything, really. I like to do a bit of everything. I think it's always different. And I do like the setting to be maybe a little bit more, uh, like buildings and setting to be a little bit older rather than something a bit newer. So we, so even some, even some street photography in some smaller towns, where you get smaller, older buildings, quite nice as well. With fit with the film cameras, I, I feel people are more uh, accepting of it and receptive, and they usually get a smile, which sometimes you don't want, but you usually get a bit more from them, and they're like, you usually get a conversation. I was in France once, and, and I had the Canon camera at night, and a guy came up to me, started speaking French. And said, uh, he translated then that uh, he didn't want the photographs of him and the lady friend he was with. <laughs> so that was probably similar to your your story with the yeah. Russian guy. Yeah. But uh, anytime I have this, uh, people come over and talk to you, old photographs, and they'll, they'll happily pose for a photograph. Happily. Hard to say, I have quite a few cameras, and I'm very happy with them all. I'd always say, and I don't need another camera, who does, but... Um, you'd, you'd obviously you'd probably like a Leica, maybe, um, just because they seem to be up there on a pedestal. I, I, I'm very happy with my Olympus rangefinders, I have Canon rangefinders, uh, my, I have medium format systems, um, very happy with them all. And I, and I think that's part of it, of, of, of trying to be a good photographer, be happy with what you have and don't get the gear acquisition syndrome. Don't be look. I, I, everyone gets it. Don't get gas. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. get gas. I, everyone has it. Everyone goes to eBay and goes, "What's this camera I've seen? Oh my god, that's I want that." Everyone gets it, but I think it's the best to try and be happy. The, the best advice is just get out for a few hours every weekend. Just, just do it. Because if I ever found myself in a rut, it was because I wasn't really going out. You get it into your subconscious to just go out, and you'll find your, you'll find your, your niche. You'll find what you like doing, whether it's laneways, bridges. You'll, you'll be drawn to places, you know.